sports in. Doesn't do the same. I don't know what else to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like you train yourself. 
you know, wanted to do that, but then it's like, man, it almost kind of got it up on the pipe quicker. I'm like, oh, it might not. Well, I did it. Probably didn't. It's like trying to run an outlaw car. semi-retired Darren Pittman you've got a handful of races underneath your belt but boy tonight you're fast yeah uh Kevin and the whole speed lab guys they, they brought a good car and uh first off got to thank uh Leighton Crouch for uh allowing us to, to use his engine he built a brand new uh Fisher and that thing runs pretty good so it's kind of hard for a 410 guy to get in a 360 and know how well it runs but uh, obviously our, our pill draw worked out pretty good but obviously I think that you know uh, Charlie's got a great reputation for building really good engines as well so uh, obviously we couldn't be here without Leighton and, and him allowing us to use that so we're very thankful for that and uh, hopefully we can go out there and, and repay him with a little bit more than a quick time but uh, so far the cars felt good uh, you know that's the first task is down now we got to go out and get out of this heat race yeah you race with the world of outlaws for many many years but you come back to this 360 nationals some names you know some names you don't know you got to get used to the driving styles yeah, no, it's, it's definitely different. Um, you know, I was here, I think, uh, my last year I ran the 27 car before I went back full-time on the Outlaw Tour with Casey. So uh, this might only be my third 360 Nationals ever. So um, obviously we've, we've cut our schedule back a lot uh, this year and only running a few select races. And so obviously this is one on our calendar that I really wanted to come and run and be here for the full 10 days and uh, try to participate in as much as we could. So off to a good start. Uh, hopefully we can finish it that way. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Race fans, give it up for Seemed like like that and four out, but this isn't. In. Oh. I mean, it's not even halfway up, really. In the bottom, still, you know, still wide enough. Yeah. yeah I think you just get tight. You can't do anything if you're really shooting full wing back. Yeah. Are you playing this again? It is. We, we ran around in the grease and hot laps. We ran by ourselves on easy boat and qualifying, and then like weren't very good then, so you had to do something else. It's not a 410. Doesn't do the same.
first eight cars run the same pace the whole time. I felt really good on the top, like early, like the attitude, like honestly, I think our attitude was pretty close. It felt pretty good. I felt really good on the top and I just realized it wasn't faster. Yeah. So then I moved to the bottom and then to run the bottom, like I could have been a little more right rear stuck and a little bit left, like a little bit yeah. more left. But I think when I moved to the bottom, I was trying to go like too slow and really like I was better off. And I have a tendency to do that a lot here, like go too easy, like scared, don't miss it, don't yeah. miss it. And then it kind of screws your wing speed up. And I mean, I was better just running in hard. And if I, you know, if I missed it, I thought it recovered good enough that it wasn't working. And then when I hit it, I could just hit it wide open. And it was good. That's what I always, to me, it was like, I would just keep pulling the wing back until like I couldn't run the thing wide open around the bottom. Wow. You know what I mean with these? Yeah. This is like you can, you, and the top doesn't make speed. Like that's, that's all you got. Those get like Leo and Carson would run middle down there a lot. It was probably I a did lot it different. Like thing. the last couple laps, I kind of did it, and then I actually got by the lap car and felt good doing that. And then I tried it again after that, kind of didn't stick it as good and then honestly like McCarl just stopped on the last lap like I didn't have a run on him and I don't know if he thought the race was over hey, or those what. are two points we needed no I needed I yeah. love those two points they I couldn't believe how much nice. he went down there and parked it and I hit the middle and I don't think I exceptionally hit the middle that good as much as he just like parked it on the bottom we should have been we had him by 20 what was he he was 11th quick so we had him by 20 he gained Three, six, he gained nine in the heat, so we were out by 11, and then he only gained two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking. I've got us at 483, and that's second. Yeah, it's without the whatever Sanaya, but nobody should have. Because no. Terry was the only one that qualified with Terry us. Terry and then the 40. 40 yeah. the NBA, only two and he five. backed up. Like, we were the best of the high qualified cars. We already knew that. We already knew that. Shut up, I thought we were going to be like third or fourth. Probably. Roger cut it all out. He's had just to carry old shield. They probably almost could trim them. with so much water I think these guys are going out there that don't really like it's too greasy to run at the bottom where all the water rolled but it's so hard they're just like beating that last little bit of middle. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna do it gonna do it like right now. But now we got a big window again right now. They're just gonna start this deal in the rain. Sure I love it. Give me the blue line range. 
couldn't just let it be that easy. Can you just poke the hole? And it would be with our there's two pretty good like little gunshots. It wouldn't be with our stuff also where you know Yeah. Where it would just all fell right in. with you the whole time like he never could like you would gap him and then like you'd slip a little bit he just didn't like he started just what pretty much got you was he was already running that big turn now like he'd run in both ends and just turn down like he'd drive off the bottom behind you down here but like he'd go from the ramp
saw you get there and it like it stuck and I thought you were about to peel back down, like you would have taken his lane right away. But as soon as you didn't peel, he just he ended up. Yeah. Like he didn't. I think he just picked you there in the middle. Probably. Your last night. I mean, it's kind of Yeah. 